How you going? This is um, this is my homemade milling system. As you can see, I've got some wet and dry sandpaper here with um, uh, what is it? It's this is uh, 120 grit. I've got 120 grit sandpaper. Oh, wet and dry sandpaper, a little bit of water. I've taped it down a special way. I've taped it from the bottom up and then taped it from the top down so that there's absolutely no way the tape can move. There's no way that the, that the, um, that the paper can move whatsoever. What I've done is I'm actually just milling the, the head of the GX200 um, engine and I'll be taking about 5,000 off, about 5,002. It means that I'll have to also change the spark plug because the spark plug sticks out from the bottom. As you can see, well, you can't see it, but the spark plug sticks out from the bottom. It'll actually protrude past the base of the head. So um, I have to index the spark plug at least one turn, one full revolution. Um, such that it's still pointing towards the exhaust port um, but then also um, be inside the cylinder head enough such that the piston doesn't hit it on its way through. So I'm going to mill that through. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is going to take a while but once it's complete I'll show you the result. So I just wanted to show how I work out how I'm actually going to take off five thou whatever it is, um, how I'm going to take it off the, uh, off the head. So what I did was I set the square on top of, so I placed the, the head on a very, very flat surface. So we're lucky with the granite top here. It's absolutely perfectly smooth. You can see that the head doesn't move on it. It's, it is rock solid smooth. So what I did was I got my square and I just placed it on top and I set the height. And I set the height so it's perfect and I checked all the way around for the whole lot, made sure that the height was exactly the same, and it, in fact it was. And what I would do is once I've once I've ground it down enough, you'll notice. Let me do it this side. If I put this on here, you'll notice that this part will, well, by rights, the whole head will be reduced, and there'll be a gap there. I could just simply use this. To measure this, and as soon as it hits the gap, or as soon as it's almost um, just fits through, well, then I know I've measured it exactly five thou, and then I'd do the same thing over here. I'd measure it, make sure, and make sure that I've got it as accurate as possible. So just join them together like so, and just tap it underneath there, in between, in between the square and the top of the head, and. That would be a really easy way of measuring. Obviously, I need to make sure that the set square or the combination square is uh, perfectly flush, and that way, then I can make sure. And at the moment, it's just touching. Once I've finished grinding, once I've got my measurement, I'll be able to work out exactly how high I've gone or how low I've gone. So, I just wanted to show you how I'm actually uh, making sure that I have the pressure on this head in a uniform manner so that one side doesn't slip or, or, or get um, grinded harder than the other side. Obviously if I was just doing it in a circle, pushing because of my right hand being stronger than my left, pushing this way would obviously work this part of the head more. Likewise if I did it that way, similar thing would happen where only one side of the head would get favoured. So what I would do, I'll just add a bit of water on it. What, what I tend to do to make sure that I'm not favouring any particular side is actually working figure eights. So I'll come down, up, down, around, up, down, around, up, down, around, up. And I just do that in figure eights, trying to be as uniform as possible. Do that for 20 or 30 seconds. And then what I do is turn it around. And do it again. Try not to let it stick. Try to keep a smooth motion all the way through so it doesn't, um, you know, one side or one portion of the head doesn't get uh, 
a, a braised any harder than the other. And then just keep turning it around and join it in. Just really slow. Okay, so this is showing how I'm going to measure how much I've taken off the uh, head. So the way I'm going to do it is by putting the level across the top there and as you can see there's a gap all the way across. I'm going to get my feeler gauge and I want it to take off about 5 thou on this or 0 0.05 it's a bit difficult to hold straight, but once we've got it, no, it's not quite five thou there. It's just five thou there. Just five thou there. Just five thou there. And the very last one. That's moved a bit, but I don't know if you can see that. Let me move it across a bit. There you go. It does go under just nicely. So that's perfectly been shaved at exactly 5 thou. You can see the finished product. So that's been grinded back using 60 grit. I did start with I think either 120 or 80. I think it was 120. But I ended up moving to 60 because it was just taking forever. I've gone through about 5, five um, sheets of sandpaper or emery paper or wet and dry whatever you want to call it and what I'll do now is I'll move to the 180 and try and hone it smooth and, and, and mirror finish just want to show you how I do it very very lightly just in a circular figure 8 motion very 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 lightly just to really really hone down and smooth it out so it's still it's polishing up quite nicely but there's still a couple of little very very small hair oh, indentations it's not perfect so we'll just keep going across making sure just to try and keep the same pressure on the whole lot turning it around as we do it so there's no favoured positions. Just nice and slow. A lot of patience. A lot of patience. I've gone for about six sheets of the, the heavy wet and dry. So I just keep rotating it. So it's the same. It's almost there. Wow. It's a lot better, a lot better. But just a little bit more. You can see how much that's polishing up right now. You can still see a couple of little grooves and things. So we'll just keep going. Finish it off. Keeping pressure on all four sides, even all. And then rotating it. After a while, that is the result. Has been honed. It is a smooth, it's almost mirror finish. Very, very smooth.